Hey guys, it's Shauna and welcome back to another video. So before I get this video started, um, I did post my room tour video like last week and it's up. Um, so if you want to go check that out, it is there. I'm hoping it gets more views soon. Um, obviously I'm not a big channel, but I don't care. I'll grow if I want. Um, so that was um, filmed on my new camera, so that one's nice and bright. And I did film a Harry Potter book, and my Harry Potter book and movie collection, um, so on my camera. But since it's so, it's like newer, and I don't use my camera that often, it takes a long time to upload the video, so that'll be coming. So um, I'm going to start using my camera for like big haul type videos and collection showing. But for this video that I have set for today, um, like fun, like factual type things or when I just want to rant about stuff, I'm just going to do it on the webcam um, on my laptop because it's just like easier. So that's what we're going to do today. So the video that I have planned for today is going to be titled Harry Potter and Me. And the reason I'm titling that is today I'm just going to kind of share some fun facts. You know, my favorite things from Potter, which is like very hard. It's like my favorite characters, my favorite book, my favorite film. And I'm also going to be sharing my Pottermore information with you. I have two Pottermore accounts and some of the aspects of the account changed for me. So let's get on with my Pottermore information. I'm going to start the video off with that. So I'm going to start off with the information that comes from the second account that I made. So um, the only thing that did not change for me through both my um, my first account and my second account was my Hogwarts was my Hogwarts house. I must say my Hogwarts account. So I am a Gryffindor through and through. Very, very, very proud Gryffindor. Um, that was what I was the most nervous about. Um, that you know I was Gryffindor on my first account. I was very nervous that when I if I did a second account, my Hogwarts house would change. Because it was like a while ago that I set up my first account, so like I couldn't remember like all of the the um, answers I chose. But I got Gryffindor. So, but if I I've, I've always been asked like, well, if you weren't a Gryffindor, what was another house that you'd want to be in? And I would probably want to be a Hufflepuff. I mean, all of the houses are amazing, and we personally in the characters, every character and us, we have a aspect of each house that makes makes us up. Um, so, but I definitely feel like I feel I would fit in with a Hufflepuff. You know, I am a very loyal friend. I work very hard in school, and I am a kind person. Unless you push my the wrong buttons on me, then you're gonna see my wrath. For warning, um, and it, but you know, I just definitely feel like I'm I'm just a true Gryffindor. I'm a very courageous person. I stand up for anyone I care about and love. I'm definitely you know. Um, a leader and daring. I, I'm not really afraid to stand up for anyone, and I stand up to anyone. You know, I'm going to tell you things like it is. And um, I mean, I am nervous at times, but I just I've gotten a lot stronger over the years, and um, I don't really take crap from anybody. <laughs> so, um, in my second account, my pa my Patronus was a Manx cat, which I was excited about. The main reason I made a second account is I wanted a different Patronus, um, and I love cats, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And there's also a new full-length um, Patronus quiz that is not associated with Pottermore, and I got a stallion on that account. I'm going to um, put that link to that quiz in the description of this video. Um, my I got a different Elver Morning House. I got the Horn Serpent, which I thought was kind of cool, um, because they're, I guess, considered to be the mind of a wizard, like strong wizards with like strong minds would get put into the horn serpent and then my wand changed since my first one um, my my wand on my second account is an aspenwood dragon heart string core it's 11 and a half inches and it has unbending flexibility so that's my info from my second potter mark out and then my first one was gryffindor is my hogwarts house patronus was a red squirrel which i guess is okay kind of cute i guess very active hyper animals which is i'm a hyper active outgoing person um i got puckwidgie for my um over morning house and i guess that they are supposed to be considered to be the heart of a wizard so if you have a good heart good strong heart you put puck wedgie and then my um wand was a spruce with dragon heart core uh bleh, dragon heart string core i believe i forgot to write this down was 11 and three quarter inches and it has solid flexibility so that is my Pottermore info so now we're going to move into my favorite things about 
Potter. So I'm going to start off with my favorite characters first, and I'm also going to be showing you the wand collection that I have because three of the wand I only have three like replica wands. I have a Hermione's wand and a sticker book, but the I only have three regular like replica wands. And um, the first one I'm going to show you is my newest character, like newest favorite character. It's like he might be my favorite character. I honestly don't know. He's become everyone's, and it is Newt Scamander. I've gotten all of my wands from Barnes and Nobles, by the way, and they're all noble collections. So this is what Newt's box looks like. It's got him on the front, and then on the side, it's got a picture of his wand, and then it just says Newt Scamander there. And Newt is just the cutest, most precious thing ever, and I'm just so happy that he's a Hufflepuff. I, two of my best friends are Hufflepuffs, and Hufflepuffs in the in the Harry Potter world really don't get as much attention as even Ravenclaw. I mean, obviously Slytherin and Gryffindor get the most attention because all the main characters are from, you know, big strong main characters other than Luna and Cho and Cedric, of course, were from Gryffindor and or Slytherin. So I am just so glad that Newt is a Hufflepuff and now Hufflepuff's getting so much love and attention and uh, you know, they're not getting made fun of, and, um, because I know a lot of people who are, I have Huffle Waffle, I'm like, stop, Hufflepuffs are amazing, there's no Hogwarts without all the houses, so, so uh, this is Newt's wand, and Newt's wand is pretty simple, it's just like a light brown with some, like, nicks and digs at the top, it goes blue right there, and then it gets a darker brown around the base, and then inside it's like this pearlescent color, it's like silver, and I saw an interview where Eddie Redmayne got all upset because Daniel Radcliffe, like, held Newt's wand and he wasn't, he's like, he didn't like it that much. He definitely liked his, Harry's wand better. And he's like, what is this, Ikea? And I was like, oh, poor Eddie. Um, but, um, I mean, it's really simple. It's, it's such a, it's such a, it's simple. Because I find Newt to sim be sim very simple person. And he's got all of these crazy, cool, and adorable creatures, but he's such a simple wizard. He's like, you know, quiet and he's kind of like, mm -hmm. and it's just, he's so adorable. And um, he's just, he's an actual crush um, person and nobody else could have played him other than Eddie Redmayne. So there's Newt's wand. My um, next favorite character is Ron and I don't have Ron's wand. His wand is my next wand I plan on buying. Um, Barnes and Nobles has an extremely great um, selection of wands um, and his his they have a lot of his and um, Ron is just such a loyal friend um, there were so many times where Ron could have just said like F this I'm done I can't stand being Harry Potter's friend being the one who's always left in the dark like I mean in Deathly Hollows part one when he leaves and he tries to coax Hermione to come and she doesn't like Ron didn't have to come back and he did, and he saved Harry's life, and he destroyed a Horcrux. So, and a lot of people lately think, even during that period of, you know, when it was Potter era, but I feel like I didn't hear it during that era, but now, since it's been, like, over for six years since Deathly Hollows Part Two, this, six years this summer, 2016 is when Deathly Hollows Part Two came out, and I feel like so many people don't like Ron. Like, I'm, I'm hearing lately, and I'm like, well, you could have your, your own opinion, and my opinion is, I love him, and, um, you know, he's a friend who could have, he left, and he didn't have to come back, and he did, because he's a true loyal friend, and he really wants to be there for Harry, and, yeah, so my next favorite character is Mr. Harry Potter himself, and Harry's wand is one I do have, and, um, now we all know, if you're a big Harry Potter fan, this wand is Harry's wand, that he has through movies three through Deathly Hollows part one towards like the middle of it um, in Sorcerer's Stone and um, Chamber of Secrets this is not the wand that Harry has it was a lot more simple looking um, but now this is like he's got like a tree bark almost at the end and um, or like a tree branch and it's just really 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 cool and um you know the reason why harry's one of my favorite characters is because well one he's harry but two he's such a strong courageous leader who you know never gives up on his friends and obviously is willing to go and die for his friends um 
at the end, even though we know he doesn't. Spoiler! Sorry! Um, hopefully you're a Harry Potter fan if you're watching my videos. <laughs> um, and you already knew that. Um, and, you know, he just... He was the chosen one. And we see throughout a lot of the films he had to go through a lot of shit um, with people. Because they were fed up with him being the chosen one. But he didn't choose the life that he had. And um, he didn't choose to lose his parents when he was a baby. You know, just like he didn't choose to be put into the Goblet of Fire because he didn't put himself in there. And um, he just, he never, he never got down knowing that the darkest wizard of all time was trying to kill him. Um, but, so yeah, this is Harry's wand, and that is why Harry is one of my favorite characters. Now my next two favorite characters, they come as a package deal because they're Fred and George, and there's no Fred without George until the end. <laughs> um, but I don't have Fred and George's wand. Um, they're not a wands, wands that you can kind of buy unless you go to the wizarding world. Um, but I do plan on, I've been scoping them out on eBay, I do plan on getting them. And um, the reason why Fred and George are my favorite characters, two of my favorite characters, is because I definitely would have crushes on them if I went to Hogwarts because I'm a person who doesn't take her life seriously. Um, I'm sensible and know when I must and know when I must be mature. And I think that even we don't see it that often, but we know Fred and George, um, I definitely feel like Fred and George would are like that as well. And um, James and Oliver are definitely just like their characters. And I adore James and Oliver. And um, I've seen many interviews where they're like, yeah, there's a lot of part of, like, there's a lot of us that is Fred and George, but we also know when to be sensible and mature about things. And um, I just respect that gratefully about them personally. I think they're beautiful, amazing people that do so much um, for this world. So we're very thankful to have James and Oliver. And um, I think the reason why you know, Fred and George really have touched my life is there was a period of time that I talked about where I went through something really horrific that happened to me physically and um, that should never happen to any female or male. So you can probably have an idea of what I'm talking about. And um, I think I mentioned it in the previous video. And I was, because of what happened to me, um, I was depressed for a year. And, um, you know, I know my friends and my family were there for me, um, but, you know, I just, I couldn't, they couldn't get through to me. And um, it was, it was Potter that was able to get through to me. It was able to be my escape and kind of other than in my protection. Because during this period of time, I also walked away from my faith as well. So I, I was angry at God for what had happened to me. And um, I just, Fred and George really lifted my lifted me up and lifted my spirits um they're they're adorable quirky mischievous let's just have fun all the time really helped me realize that you can get i can get over obstacles and um so thank you fred and george and thank you james and oliver for taking these amazing two characters and bringing them to life in such an amazing beautiful way like you did and um, last but not least, my ultimate favorite character, who has been my favorite character since day one, is um, Hermione and her wand I do have. And her wand is absolutely fantastic. It's got vines, uh, like, like vines going up and down it. And it's just perfect. And I have her wand as well as in this, the sticker book collection. And that one lights up at the top. And um, this is what her box looks like, just like Newt's you know, with her on the top, and Harry's looks is in the same line as Marty's. It looks like that. And, um, you know, Emma Watson is my favorite actress of all time and has always been and always will be, and she has been my role model since day one. And um, just Hermione is just such a powerful, strong, beautiful, brave, smart, badass character that has influenced me to be that way. I, I consider myself to be a very strong, independent woman who does not take crap from anybody and will fight for the people that she loves and cares about and will fight for herself and um, knows what's right and know what and knows what's wrong and knows not what you know is the right path to go down and knows not to go down the wrong paths and I am just so thankful for a character like Hermione in the way that Emma brought her to us because so many girls have been influenced by Hermione and um, I'm just so thankful for her. So thank you, Emma. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you to all of the characters who or all of the actors who brought these characters to life for us. And um, of course, thank you, Joe, for bringing these characters into our lives. And um, 
So I'm going to end the video talking about my favorite film and my favorite book. My favorite the Potter book is Prison of Azkaban. Um, I'm starting to reread the series again for like the probably, I don't even know how many times, umpteenth, I don't even know. And I hadn't read Prison of Azkaban in a while and I just read through almost the entire book in one day like two weeks ago. And I was like, this is why this book is my favorite. And Sirius is another one of my favorite characters as well. And I plan on getting his one very soon. And then my favorite film is, is um, Goblet of Fire. I just, I love how action-packed it is. And I had mentioned this before in my book. And I just, I, at the period of time when that came out, I had, I was like in junior high. And I had a lot of crushes on guys who had like the long, swishy hair. And almost all of my favorite kids, like Harry, Ron, Neville, Fred, and George. I love how it looked on Harry the best. And then next, I love how it looked on James, or Fred the best. I just love how Daniel and James's hair kind of, went out and I read it I was watching an interview with uh, James and Oliver and I guess James was um, growing his hair out like that so Mike Newell who is the director of Goblet of Fire was like let's have the boys grow their hair out like that so James started the trend with the long hair and Mike Newell liked it so that's why some of the male characters have long hair in that film and um, I just I loved how it looked on them so in that that film is just so action-packed and it's so there's so many cute moments like never I will never not love when Hermione walks down the stairs and Harry is like in awe of her and um, I just I love that I just I love all except for Cedric dying and um, and you know that's kind of like the peak in the start of Voldemort coming back and I just love how action packed it is and um, and then Prisoner of Azkaban is a close second. So, I mean, it's so hard for me to say, you know, when people ask, what's your favorite Harry thing? Harry thing. What's your favorite thing about Harry Potter? It's everything. It's like, I can't really pick. Because um, it's just such a, it's been such a life-changing thing for me. And the celebration in Orlando has been going on this weekend, and it ends today. And, and I've been watching all the live streams because I haven't been there yet. My friends and I are planning a trip, and it's just the fact that, like, there is something, like, with the Wizarding World, and there's there's the studio tour, and there's just things that are never going to go away, because Potter's something that's never going to go away, and I'm so thankful for that. I mean, it's never going to go away in my life. It has changed my life forever, and has changed my life for the better, and people are, will ask me, well, how can a film, how can a book series change your life, and I'm like, well you'd be surprised. I mean, yes, the, you know, my family, my friends, and my faith, and, you know, they are the main things that change my life and are, have an impact, but when it comes to entertainment things, Harry Potter is my escape. It's, it's, it's where I, I ex literally escape into the world even when I'm not reading a book, one of the books. I'm reading Goblet of Fire now, and I just, I literally jump into the book. But even when I'm not reading or I'm not watching one of the films, I am, I mean, my room is all Harry, is a Harry Potter room. But it's like I am immersed in it all the time. I'm constantly thinking about it and um, immersed in the world in my mind. And um, it's just the people that it's brought me to. It's brought me closer to my friends. It's brought me closer with other people. And it's just so nice to know that something like that can bring me close to other people. So I hope if, if you're a Potter fan, I hope you are if you're watching my videos, that you feel the same way. And I'm glad that, you know, other people make videos about Potter too. And this is why that I have. And because um, we're all one big happy family. And I think that's what I love about it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And that, you know, you feel the same way. That I, how I feel about Potter, and as always, remember to always think optimistically. Always remember to keep magic in your life, and always, always remember that you're beautiful inside and out, no matter what anyone else says. Bye!